In the latest issue of Empire Magazine, director Zack Snyder sits with the interviewers and talks a little bit about his future in Hollywood, dream projects, and reflects on his Justice League and time with the DC brand. And during the discussion, he brings forth the idea that the DC fan base is dead set and brainwashed on getting exactly what they want. And he says that this is due to canon from the comics that isn't true because he doesn't want to use it. Mr. Kettle, meet Pot. Here you go. Look at that. Well, here we are, everybody. I'm trying to get this one out of the way quickly and not put it down like two, three, four days or whatever. And um, people will accuse me of hiding the facts, not talking about the truth. So let's talk about it. So yeah, Zack Snyder was asked about his approach to Man of Steel, to Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and the negative reception and reaction to his films and how these films for many people killed the love for these characters and turned them off of these characters and he said that he was not surprised by this reaction and he says that this reaction he believes is because a bunch of the dc fans are all brainwashed by the material that they consider the true canon from the comics. And he says, that's fine, that's your own journey, but it's not the thing that makes it factual. Okay, so let's rewind. Has Superman killed? Yes. Has Batman killed? Yes. But in a majority of their work, we're talking more than like 99.5%, All the writers out there have agreed to a core set of rules that was refined, defined, and further made a thing that just everybody agrees upon, right? So a lot of people reading these comics, growing up with these cartoons and these versions, expected that the big attempt to rival the MCU was going to be a more comic accurate representation. When they didn't get anything close to that, resembling that, they didn't like it. Now, is that being brainwashed by the material? Well, no. If a majority of it is that, then if you come in there and change it, naturally people are going to be mad, right? So him saying that the DC fans are brainwashed into only accepting one version is absolutely hysterical to me because that's literally his fan base they are brainwashed into only accepting his version do you guys see what the irony here is do you guys see what this is like he went out there multiple times prior to the release of man of steel and talked about how his universe you can do this and that and nobody wants this and nobody wants that and i'm gonna do it like this And then Man of Steel came out, and he said, okay, I'm going to listen to you guys. I'm going to give you the characters you want. And then he doubled down on all the things people didn't want. And then tripled down on them, and people turned on it. That's not being brainwashed. That's expecting the big MCU rival that was at the time trying to stay true to core aspects of characters. Literally, they just wanted you to do the same thing. But you didn't do it. Don't blame the fans for expecting what you even leaned into saying you were going to do. I'm, it's so frustrating, man. Like, I'm just glad this whole thing is over. I'm just glad that hopefully James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to deliver. That's all we can hope for. And if they don't, well, we'll be back here in six years when that universe is burnt to a crisp on the ground going, well... Man, James Gunn sure didn't listen and made Superman straight up a killer at the end of his film. That's disappointing. And quote me on this years from now. If that's what happens in James Gunn's Superman, I will be on here tearing James Gunn a new one from start to finish.